At the Team Automotive Group, we're turning Teacher Appreciation Week into a month-long celebration. Bring your teacher ID to any of our dealerships and save an additional $500 off of any new car purchase. It's our way of saying thanks for all you do in the classroom at every location of the Team Automotive Group. I survived a miracle accident on Hooper Road on April 19th, 2024, this year, about last week. And um, vehicle veered me off the road, and I tried to just, you know, go around him and avoid him instead of going on a head-on collision. And by me doing that, and by my trailer being top-heavy, I had flipped over. So that's the reason we're here, and I survived. It was trapped three hours. And by the way the accident looked, it did a little too promising, but God brought me through. And so, kind of walk us through that day from your perspective. What, like, what was? How did your day start that day? Okay, it really it started it started out kind of slow because it was a Friday, and I really wanted to get home. And uh, down in Houston, I had to load my trailer, and I already had an eight-hour drive to come home, so I really wanted to get started early, and, you know, get home early. But on this particular day, everything just started like slow, so. Instead of me usually getting loaded up at 8 o'clock a.m., it had to get loaded up at 11 a.m. So I got loaded up at 11 a.m. I started my day off in a, in, you know, in a good in a good positive mindset. Did some personal care, took a shower, and got up on the road to have a fresh, clean start to the day because it's going to be a long day. So after I got loaded up, came on home, on the way on home, it's coming through Baton Rouge, and I know Baton Rouge has a whole lot of backed up traffic. So I tried to go around it. The day was going smooth so far, but I tried to go around Baton Rouge traffic, and that's how I ended up on Hooper Road to get to I 55 North to go home. Around what time? Around, it's around 7 30 p.m. Okay. And so, how many times have you, have you driven through Baton Rouge? In three years. Mm. That's I ten, probably three, four times in three years, cause I'm like a northern guy. But you knew, yeah, you knew enough about batteries to know to take some batteries. Yes, sir. So, I've been with this company since last year, November. So we got a terminal down in Port Allen, and so coming from home to get to there, I have to go on the back road sometimes to the site Hooper Road to come on down here, or I can stay on 55 and jump on I ten. But the fastest and easy and smooth the way just don't go on Hooper Road and go around. And so, kind of, what was, walk me through the point where you first saw the truck. Okay, when I first saw the truck, I was just driving down the highway, just vibing, listening to my music, almost home, you know, getting there, so I'm pretty happy. And so, I was just on the phone with one of my other truck driver friends, and we were just talking, and I, Reached down to pick up something, and I look, look, look first, look again. I was like, no, no way. Look, look again, and I was like, wow. Am I really, just really finna happen? Like it was just a quick reaction, so I had to just. I, I could have stayed and had a head-on collision, but I didn't know how that was gonna turn out for either one of us. So I just went around, tried to go around them. Yeah, how that was. And what was what was going through your mind in that moment? In that moment, I was like, what? You know, when I got around, I was like, I'm good. But the weight of my trailer by it being top heavy flipped me over. And when that moment happened, I saw the front, I saw the front of the, um, the hood raise up. I couldn't believe it. And it just tilted over. And so, you know, the crash has happened and you're stuck in, in the cab. And how long were you there before, you know, EMS showed up? So I originally, I'd say approximately five minutes before Miss Cass showed up. She's a paramedic and she was off duty at the time. And she was like, hello, can you hear me? I was like, yes. Yeah. She was like, what's your name? What's your age? Where are you from? Where are you headed? Are you loaded? And I was like, yeah, I'm loaded. Gave her all my information. And, uh, after that, it was a, I feel like it was a race. Like, I'm trying to get up out of here. I'm getting hot. I'm stuck. I'm stuck between the seat, seat belt. I'm in a sleeper in front of the refrigerator, steering wheel up under me. So I'm like, I need some help quick. And Ms. Cass, there, she had directed me how to breathe. And she got me through there. 
and I thank all of the paramedics because I was rushing. I was like, keep me up out of here. Not knowing what the accident looked like on out on the outside, but it was very scary. Can you describe to me kind of, you know, when you came to after the crash, what you saw? When I left out the crash? Mm -hmm. Or when, you know, the crash just happened mm -hmm. and, you know, what was the first thing that you saw? <sighs> Um, I really didn't see anything but just pure black darkness. My phone was ringing because it sent the alert to my family that I was in a severe crash. My phone was ringing, ringing. I'm hearing it ring. So that was my reason to just keep going, take my time and breathe. It was scary, but it was number pure darkness. Yeah, you know, it was already getting dark for the day. And I think they finally got out there and saved me by like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And what was that? What was that process like of them getting you unpinned and getting you out? Continuous communication. That was, that was continuous communication. Because they were, like, "Are you with me?" I'm like, "Yeah, please get me out. I'm having trouble breathing. I'm hot. I'm stuck." So it was one of those moments. And what I heard was when when they finally freed you from from the truck that you came out, your, your arms in the air, and, and you were praising God. Yes, sir, the first thing, because, you know, he, he's the head of my life. Without him, he saved me, and he had angels over me. That's the reason I made it out, and I just kept faith. I, I thought it was over with. So do you, do you believe without God's intervention, you wouldn't have made it through? Without, without, at all. And being, being a truck driver, had, had you seen wrecks like this before? Or? Yes, sir. Trucks has been worse than mine. And by me looking at my truck, just blessed. Just blessed. And kind of walk us through your, your injuries, kind of what happened. Well, um, during my injuries, like, it's my left arm, my left leg is injured. But at the time when I was in the truck, I was feeling my left, my left body, my left body parts, left arm and left, left leg. But when I got to the hospital, they said something was wrong with my left arm and my left leg. But during the accident, I couldn't, I couldn't feel like my right, my right arm and right leg. So I don't know how that happened. But basically, I had to have like emergency surgery because I had so much fluid on my leg, and I had like a brachial plexus in my arm. I mean, it's just numb. So I got a little feeling there, but hopefully, that with physical therapy, they'll get me back right, and I can possibly. Be at full function all the way again. And what's the what's the timeline for your recovery? Um, not sure about my leg because I have to have another surgery. I have had two surgeries so far. Have to have another surgery in about a couple more weeks. But the timeline for my arm, just hopefully it just come back on its own. It's a possibility it can. It's a possibility it can't. But we're hoping for the best. And so, talking about hoping for the best, what is kind of your attitude at this point in the, in the recovery process? Well, since I've never been through this before, at first, it was like, I'd be on and off, like I'd be uh, encouraged, and then I'd be discouraged. But now, I'm fully focused, like, let's go. Because I'm, I'm a former athlete, so let's go, let's go, get this up on the road. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be fair. I know where I have to <clears throat> Excuse me. I know the steps I have to take in order to get back to full 100%. And it's still looking like you're getting discharged today, correct? Yes, sir. Are you, are you excited for that? Are you excited to get back home? I'm happy. I've been here a week and a half. I'm really glad that God worked everything out. I'm just happy to get back surrounded by my family and friends.